G'day guys, welcome to my first striking video. Today we're going to be lofting CBU-97s, and let's get started. I'm going to set up the armaments page. I'm going to the menu and selecting armaments, and air to ground. Select my pylons with the CBU-97s, and let's select auto. We'll set it to ripple single. Quantity to 12. And interval to, yeah, put 0.2. Set the fuse to open based on height, which will be 700 feet. We'll pop over to the other side and we will set up our teapot through the menu. Click on EXP for the extra digital zoom. Down the bottom, there are no bars. So I need to hold castle switch right wrong to bring up those bars, which will tell me that I am in command of that sensor. Now I can zoom in with the auto acquisition switch, uh, but I'm not fixed to any point in space because I am in SP mode. Now, I want to slave that to my target. Now, down here you can see I've got two waypoints. One, which is an IP, and two decimal. The decimal denotes that it's a target waypoint. So to slave my target pod to that, I am going to go to my scratch pad, type two decimal, and then where it says SP, I'm going to click the button. And there we are, we're slaved to that waypoint. I'm going to clear the scratch pad on my UFC. Got to clear a couple of times. And let's zoom in a little bit with the auto acquisition switch. Now, I can't make out much detail yet. I'm still probably a little bit far away, but I'm looking for a few APCs, a group of six of them. Maybe it's that. Yeah, that might be it. I'm going to designate that, I think. Yep, there we are, designate. Now looking at our HUD, we can see that we now have a designated point just there, and a bomb fall line. And I'll have another look at the T-Pod, sweeten this up a little bit, redesignate. Sometimes it's best to put it just a little bit in front of the target. Designate. I'll disengage the altitude hold autopilot, and let's get ready to run in. Master arm on. Start a descent to probably around about a thousand feet. Now I find that this doesn't work nearly as well with any of the other bombs at the moment. Most bombs seem to fall a bit long. A bit of miles out. We'll start our turn in now, I think. Okay, so I'll line up with the bomb full line. Now note that if you if you break line of sight, the bomb full line will skew off to the side of the HUD. It'll come back once you start your pull up, so just keep driving straight. Anyway, at about four and a half miles, I'm going to do a four-ish G pull up, maybe three to four Gs, holding the pickle button. So we'll start that now. Pickle button's held down. And it'll pass through that horizontal line, and the bombs will come off the jet. There we are. And we'll break away and observe how they behave on target. I've got dot labels on, so you can just see them, but just there, on the apron. Those are our target APCs. And boom, good effect on target. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm really enjoying the Strike Eagle at the moment. And I'll probably do a few more videos as things come up through early access. Thanks for watching. See you next time.